Hello and welcome to another Looney Tunes review video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel and give this video a like if you do like it. So this is a video review for Along Came Daffy, released on the 4th of June 1947 with a blue ribbon reissue on the 24th of July 1954. It's the 498th in the series and it's directed by Frizz Freeling. And you can currently find this cartoon in terms of uh, restoration on the HBO Max streaming servers. There's no physical release as of yet, and hopefully there will be. And since I can't really show you the cartoon because of uh, copyright uh, issues, I'll just go through a synopsis in case you haven't seen this cartoon. So, essentially, you know, two men who look very similar to Yosemite Sam are stuck in a cabin with no food. But uh, Daffy comes along and uh, to try and sell him stuff. I mean, I don't know how he got to the cabin in the first place, but hey, you just go with it, right? And yeah, he has a cookbook and um, they would prefer to have a nice duck dinner. So um, it's pretty straightforward and it's a whole lot of fun. Now on to the trivia first up and yeah, I don't know if these guys would be considered to be a Senemi Sam, really. Um, the designs are certainly very, very similar, but they look a lot taller, and this is the only short where if you think this is your Sam, um, this might be your Sam's brother or something, I don't know. So um, I definitely want to hear your thoughts with whether you think this is your Sam or not. I do have a picture from the actual um, the model sheet from this cartoon, and that one actually looks closer to Sam than what they look like in this short, so yeah. I'll leave it up to you guys as to whether you think this is Sam or not, or just a distant relative. And what's cooking, Doc? You know, Bugs Bunny was so popular at the time that even Daffy Duck imitates him in a scene here. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> you know, this short is sort of a remake of Daffy's Southern Exposure, directed by Norm McCabe. And in that one, again, he's, you know encounters uh, two characters living in a cabin and but in that cartoon the characters have the opposite problem they have an abundance of food but of course it's all beans so I guess it doesn't count whereas here they are very, of course uh, without a lot of food and um, the original titles which are sadly lost but uh, through research um, it actually had the song I'd be lost without you playing over them Hopefully one day we'll find those title cards, as I hope every original title card can be found, but alas, some of it might just be lost to time. So on to the review. Look, you know, putting aside the whole, are they, is this your sending me Sam or not, <laughs> to one side, this is such an entertaining cartoon, you know. It's got a few different bits to it that I like. You know, I like the whole thing in the beginning before Daffy steps into the picture where you have these two characters up against this well, really hungry mouse, you know, and once I end up finding a pea, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a funny, um, funny setup there, which actually sets up the very end of it, which, you know, spoiler alert, they end up um, having to share with <laughs> plenty of mice once they get their free turkey dinner, um, the courtesy of Daffy. But Daffy here, look, I've always loved the shorts where Daffy's some sort of a salesman, and there was quite a few of them, you know, Chuck did one or, or a few, um, McKimson certainly did a few, and I don't know, there's just something about Daffy being a salesman that I absolutely love and just find absolutely hilarious. So, but yeah, as I mentioned in the trivia, it's just interesting that he ends up quoting Bugs Bunny for, you know, saying, what's up, Doc? I, why? <laughs> you know, by this point, yeah, Bugs certainly would have been considered to, to be the number one character in the uh, Looney Tunes staple, and, well, who can really blame them for wanting to reference uh, Bugs Bunny again. So, you know, this short gets a definitely a solid 8 out of 10 for me. There's no question that this is just one, one very solid short. And, you know, regardless of what you think of the whole is this your enemy Sam and his brother debate or not, I mean, you know, yeah, he sounds like your enemy Sam, but I don't know. I'll leave that one up to debate for you guys. So... Um, that will wrap this one up, so thanks very much for watching this uh, brief review on a very funny cartoon. Feedback is always welcome as usual, and until next time, take care. Good morning.
morning, gentlemen. Could I interest you in some delicious after-dinner mints? Well, here we go again. <laughs> 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 